In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Facebook tab uh, using Response Magic to your Facebook fan page. So, right off the bat, you're going to have a couple options. You can uh, use a like to reveal, um, which basically says click like and I'll reveal you my content. Or you can use the direct opt in method, which is only a one page style that just goes for the email opt in right away. So, First thing we're going to want to do is tell Response Magic the tab ID um, that we've added to our page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Add App to Fan Page, and it's going to pop Facebook up and ask you if you would like to continue um, as your as yourself, um, and just go ahead and click OK. Um, it didn't do that for me here because um, I'm already logged in as myself. Um, but then you'll get this drop down menu and when you click it, it'll give you all the different fan pages you're the administrator for. So I'm not going to do that um, to protect the identity of some of my private clients. Um, then all you have to do is click add uh, page tab. And what that'll do is after you've selected which uh, fan page that you want to add it to, it'll actually go ahead and add it to that fan page. So. I'm going to punch in a fan page that I've added uh, that to. And my business fan page is right here. And the offer looks like this. So uh, basically when you add it, it'll look like a star. And you'll want to switch the image um, on this after you've added it to that particular tab. So what you need to do is click this down arrow and then mouse over the, the star image, um, I've already replaced the image on this one, um, and click on the pencil and click edit settings. Um, on this page, you'll be able to modify the uh, tab name uh, so you can make a little headline for it, get more fans is what I chose, um, and you can change the image here uh, by clicking change here. It'll pop open another window where you then have to click edit on the image. Okay, so next thing you need to do is choose the file from your computer and then it'll allow you to click upload, okay? One thing that you wanna notice is the stipulations right here. Uh, JPEG, GIF, PNG uh, is the only files they accept and you have to make it 111 by 74 pixels exactly. Uh, I'm not sure why they did that, but it's kind of a pain, so you gotta get out your uh, image editing software and make an image that is uh, 111 by 74 pixels. Um, this this is really not that hard. Um, on a Mac, you can use uh, just like a, a, an image editing software like Photor. Um, there's a bunch of free stuff available on the uh, App Store. Or if you're on a PC, you can use something as basic as MS Paint. And you can just go to the Start menu and type in MS Paint um, it's it, it's installed standard across all Windows machines. So um, once you get in there, you want to save the image as a JPEG and make it 111 by 74 pixels by changing the size of the image. Uh, chances are, if you have a custom image um, created for you, um, you can just tell them right off the bat that these are the requirements you need it for um, if you're sending it off to your designer. So you can just copy and paste this right to your designer and let them know this is what you want it to be. Um, and the file size needs to be uh, maximum one megabyte. Um, that's still pretty big uh, unless you're shooting uh, a, a picture off your digital SLR and trying to upload it directly from there, which isn't going to work anyway because you haven't sized it. So you want to make sure that it's below one megabyte and save it for web or save it as a JPEG will already compress it usually below that one megabyte limit. Um, but the uh, interesting thing is if you don't get the pixels correct, um, it doesn't tell you what's wrong. It just sort of doesn't work. Um, so usually that's the problem um, if you're having a problem uploading your image. So once you've done that, um, then it will, uh, you can click save um, and it will pop up right here. Um, and if you want to change the order, like I have, you can click on this again. 
and you can click on the image that you want to change the order with. Um, let's say I want to change it with this. Um, you click on this one and say swap position with get more fans and boom, there it'll go. So I can click on this and change it back if I want. So that's kind of a weird way of ordering things, but that's how they do it on Facebook. So there you have it. That's how you add a fan page. And then once you've um, added it here, you just go ahead and click on it. And the first thing that will pop up, it won't be this video. It will actually be the code uh, printed across the page. So it'll be an ID number printed on this page. And all you have to do is copy that and go back uh, to where you were and paste it in here. So it'll be a number that looks like this. Copy it right off that page, paste it in there and click save. Um, obviously after you've filled out your Facebook headline and if you wanna add a video, you can paste in your video link there as well. Uh, once you have that in there, click save. And as soon as you hit save, come up here and hit the refresh button on your computer and it'll refresh and it'll look just like this. So it'll, it'll pop in your video that you uh, selected um, and it'll use your, uh, the settings that you set in the previous step to create your customer magnet uh, right here below the video. So I hope this video helps. Uh, good luck collecting opt-ins um, and getting more likes on Facebook.